I play study. Simplify square root of 12. Aha, uh -huh. so that's right. This one is not perfect answer, right? Because you have to simplify first. That's right. Okay, let's do it. Uh, square root of 12. Just like this one. If you have no idea, okay, so you can use this technique right here. Okay, 12 divided by smallest possible number. Okay, like 2. Oh, that's possible. So that means 6. 2 again. That means 3. Uh oh. So we have a pairs. Okay, 2 and 2. That's pair. So pair can go out of square root of sign. Okay? So that means 2 can go out, just like this one. Then 3 stay inside. That's it. Or you can change this one like this. Okay? This one means 4 times 3. Okay? So that means 4 is the perfect square number. Okay? That's what? 2 square root of 3. That's it. Okay, let's try a few more here. Okay, square root of 50. Okay, that means what times what? Uh-huh. So, at least one of them has to be the perfect square number. Oh, wait a minute. That means 5 times 10? Uh-oh. Neither one is the perfect square. So, what about... Oh, that's right. Okay, so 25 times 2. Just like this one. 25 times 2. So 25 is a perfect square number. That's why we can take this one out. Okay, by 5, then square root of 2. See how easy it is? Okay, now what about this one then? Okay, just like this one. Okay, wait a minute. What times what is possible? 150 times 2? No. That's right. 100 times 3. That's why 100 is the perfect square number. By 10 square root of 3. Great! So what about this one? That's right. This one. 4 times 2. That's why 4 is the perfect square number. By 2, then square root of 2. That's it. Okay, what about this one? Oh, that's right. 500 is the easy one, right? 100 times 5. That's right. 100 is the perfect square number. That's why we can take this one out. That's 100. Actually, 10 square root, then 5. Oh, that means 10 times 10 is 100 times 5. That's 500. Okay, what about this one then? Oh, uh -huh. so that's right. 36 times 2. That means 36 is the perfect square number. Okay, 6 square root of 2. Fantastic. Keep looking at this. Okay, then you get the idea. Okay, then what about 75? That's right. 25 times 3. So 25 is the perfect square number by 5 square root of 3. Fantastic. Hey, that's it.